Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing very well. During the 1991 Gulf War 1, Captains Richard T. Bennett and Daniel B. Back in their F-15E Strike Eagle used a GBU-10 2,000-pound laser-guided bomb to destroy an airborne Iraqi Mi-24 Hind attack transport helicopter that had just dropped Iraqi troops off. It was a real feat and I think still the only time in history a bomb has been used to destroy an airborne target. Today we're going to do our own mini reenactment to it. We're going to make a few changes, but essentially we've got an F-15E Strike Eagle. We've got a GBU-10 2,000-pound laser-guided bomb, and we're attacking an Iraqi Mi-24 Hind. The scenario is we are near al Qa'in, near the Syrian border. We've heard that an Mi-24 has just landed near a farm dropped troops off and is now flying and heading north. We're going to try and track him down. So, let's get started. First, setting the jet up. Master arm on. Air to ground master mode. In the rear cockpit, make sure laser is armed, and it is. Back in the front cockpit, get our T-pod initialized. We need to go on the right screen to our PAX air to ground page to set our bomb up. GBU-10, it's going to be in an auto delivery mode, a single drop, nose and tail fusing, through to our air to ground delivery page, programming page. I want to keep automatic lasing on, I think, over to our teapot. We're going to select automatic lasing, continuous lasing, and we have a steer point already set up at the farm in question. So let's go to steer point one, Steer point two, there's the farm. Now, can we see a helicopter? Let's assign command to the teapot. Let's zoom in and see if we can find him. There he is, very good. Just check our credentials. We're good, okay. So, we're gonna set to point track. We're gonna move our cursor to him. We're gonna set to continuous designation. We're gonna pre-designate. We're now gonna set back to point track. We're now going to command track and see if we can get a contrast track. We've got him. How about that? Right. Okay. Sorry. Correct the jet. Right. We have a contrast point track. We have all of our auto bombing symbology. We've got an estimated one minute and 10 seconds time to release. Align the bombing reticle with the azimuth steering line. Doing this for the first time, by the way, so it, no one really knows if this is going to work. 47 seconds time to release. Target is 7.8 nautical miles away. 25 seconds to release. 10 seconds to release. Bomb full Q is dropping. Press and hold. Weapon release. Off the gas a bit. Bomb has dropped. Laser is designating. Excitement growing. Tension palpable. 25 seconds time to impact. Check bomb's progress. Bomb is looking sexy. Bomb is guiding. 16 seconds to impact. Predicted. 10 seconds to impact. Bomb is still guiding and bomb definitely sees Iraqi Mi-24. Tension unbearable. Bomb is going to... Uh, uh, direct, <laughs> direct hit boys! One hundred percent. I wasn't actually expecting a direct hit. I don't know if they actually got a direct hit in real life or whether they hit the ground below him. And you know, you only need to be a bomb that size. You only need to be within hundreds of feet, and it will just atomize everything. But that one hundred percent has just completely atomized that guy. So it one hundred percent is possible. It obviously, is because they did it. But it's possible with our sim, which is cool. Anything to add, my boys? That's the exact same description that the Wizzo gave. He says he saw through the teapot just the helicopter get atomized, bits flying off everywhere. In real life, they were actually flying faster and lower, but to make the video, I just wanted to fly a bit higher and a bit slower for safety. But otherwise, it was the same thing. I hope you enjoyed the reenactment, and bye bye.